Building your brand. <laughs> the design it. Value. That's where your strategy comes in. Your logo, you have to work on your marketing, advertising. After advertising, you've now created yourself identity. My biggest one, trust. Trust is key to maintaining a brand. For us, we were buying a, a already established bed and breakfast. So we came right into the game knowing that we had to provide a certain level of trust to existing customers. So they had already known when they walked through the door of the Hibiscus house, they expected certain things that the previous owners had done to continue to happen or to exceed that expectation which is all part of the trust factor. So with us, we wanted to make sure that when people came through our door that had been here in the past, they knew that they were gonna get a quality product walking in, walking out, and during their stay. That is where we try to make sure that we exceed those expectations throughout their stay, giving the concierge service, making ourselves available whenever they need it, um, giving them recommendations. So we took a lot of time when we first moved down here to go through restaurants, activities, events, and make sure that we knew what we were talking about when they came through the door. We also look for a level of feedback from our guests, not just on the internet, but even face to face. We've had guests that have come through the door that I've sat out here and had cups of coffee with, and that individual would say we've been to 50, 60, 80, 100 B&Bs over the course of their lifetime, and here's what they did, here's what you're doing, Here's what you might want to think about. And if it's something that is relevant to my plan and to my brand, then I will implement it. And then I always make sure that I give that feedback once we do make that change back to that particular guest. That's where that connection comes into play. I like to make sure that we send out text messages, emails on email lists. We stay involved in social medias, Instagrams, Twitters, Facebooks, um, YouTube, and we stay in contact with our guests future, present, and past all the time. So it's always in front of them. It's always making sure that that connection is maintained. The appreciation factor of trust, in my opinion, is something we're still working on. We're trying to develop some other ideas. That's something that will always um, be ongoing. Uh, like right now, we do offer discounts and such for um, people who have been here multiple times, who do multiple state discounts, things like that. But that's something that the old owner had done that we are maintaining, but I want to do something more. I want something a little bit more substantial, but I'll get back to you on that. It's something that we're actually thinking about. In the eight points of branding your business, I chose trust to start with. Now, my next video will be based around one of the other ones, whether it be advertising or whether it be marketing or, or um, your identity, logo, so on and so forth. Um, but each week I will have a highlight as to what portion of that branding we're gonna talk about. But like I said, you enter as guests, you leave as friends, maintain that connection, maintain that friendship, maintain that brand, and you will be totally fine in working the business you are working. As long as you love what you're doing, you're doing what you love, that will show to your guests and to your, to your customers. So with that being said, if you like what you're seeing, smash that like button, throw me a comment or two, share, subscribe to the videos, and I will see you guys later.